Good evening. Good evening. Frank Marcione, 19 Talmadge Drive, Monroe. I'm here tonight to speak up for the student athletes <clears throat> in this school district who currently are being punished for the board's reluctance to hire a football coach. Currently, uh, assistant coaches have stepped up and have been volunteering their time <clears throat> because of the dedication of these coaches with the Falcon football program. Currently, without a head coach, our student athletes, and specifically our rising se seniors, are un unable to participate in the summer program that is essential to the success of the program and the betterment of these students. By the way, I just found out tonight that we've now missed that window, so these juniors that are going to be seniors will not be able to part participate in that. <clears throat> I emailed Mrs. Chanley in reference to the, to the unfilled, unfilled coaching position four weeks ago. <clears throat> However, there's yet to be a head coach named thus far. The response I got from her is summer's still four months away. This will be too late and the damage to the program and these athletes will already be done. My concern is with the current board's vendetta against Mr. Dowling, that this position will go unfilled. We need to put the students of this district ahead of politics. There's absolutely no reason that this position, position remains unfilled. What are you waiting for? My understanding is that after a specific person was interviewed and found not to be a good fit, the board halted the hiring process. This way, by no means, the fault of the athletic director, who also tries to do what is best for our community. In the past two years, Mr. Dowling has become an ir irreplaceable asset to all the sports programs and has qualified. <clears throat> His qualifications that were good enough for him to be hired have not changed. If anything, he has gained experience through all the good he has done for this district and admiration of all the parents. How many supervisors can say that? Mr. Dowling made it possible for my daughter, a special needs student of Monroe, <clears throat> to be able to cheer at the varsity basketball games. This experience has been amazing for my daughter, helping her to feel part of the high school community. Her ability to be at these games is something we never could have achieved without Mr. Da without Mr. Dowling. Excuse me. <clears throat> the fact that his job is being pulled out from under him is a travesty. This would impact the football program, the cheer program, and every other student athlete currently in the district. That is to follow. Keep, our, keep your politics out of our sports. Do what is best for this community. Leave Mr. Dowling where he is. Thank you.